Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve CCNP Encore Packet Tracer Inter VLAN Routing Challenge. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you wish to get this type of technical videos, consider subscribing. And also, if you wish to get any technical support, you can contact us anytime. All the details given in the description below. Now back to our activity. Here we can see addressing table. We can see the devices R1, S1, PC1, PC2, PC3 and uh, server. Uh, here uh, we have to create VLANs and uh, we have to create the sub interfaces and we need to configure the IP addresses. And here we can see VLAN table. VLAN ID, it's a name, also uh, interfaces. We will follow the instructions one by one. In this activity, we will demonstrate and reinforce your ability to implement inter VLAN routing, including configuring IP addresses, VLANs, trunking, and sub interfaces. Configure the devices to meet the following requirements. Assign IP addressing to R1 and S1 based on the addressing table. So here we can see those devices R1 and uh, S1. Now we are going to assign IP address as per this addressing table. Here they given the IP address uh, for this R1 and S1. We need to configure uh, these sub interfaces. First, we will configure this router R1. Enable. We will give show command, show IP interface brief. And here we can see this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 is already configured. And now we are going to configure these sub interfaces. configure terminal first of all we will activate this physical interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface g0 slash 1 no shutdown command even we can activate after configuring all these sub interfaces We will configure these sub interfaces. Interface G0 slash 1 dot 10. Encapsulation dot 1Q. VLAN ID is 10. We will set the IP address 172.17.10.1. Then submit to mask. Next sub interface is interface G0 slash 1.20. Encapsulation dot 1Q VLAN ID 20. IP address 172.17.20.1. Submit to mask. Next, we'll go to uh, sub interface 30. Interface G0 slash 1.30. Encapsulation dot 1Q VLAN ID is 30. We will set the IP address 172.17.10.1. Submit to mask. Then next sub interface is interface G0 slash 1.88. And we can see in this VLAN table 88 uh, should be the native VLAN. So we should configure accordingly. This sub interface should be uh, encapsulation dot 1Q 
VLAN ID with the native encapsulation dot one Q VLAN ID is 88 and this is native then here we can see the last sub interface G0 slash 1.99 Encapsulation dot one Q VLAN ID ninety nine. We will set the IP address one seventy two dot seventeen dot ninety nine dot one. We should give the submit to mask also. Perfect. And show IP interface brief. So here we can see all these sub interfaces we created and its IP address. Uh, but here we did not set the IP address for the sub interface G0 slash 1.88. So we will set that also. Configure terminal. Interface again we can go to that sub interface G0 slash 1.88 and uh, uh, we can set the IP address 172.17.88.1 submit to mask and copy run space start we will verify it show IP interface brief perfect Next, we will configure this uh, switch S1. We need to set IP address for this interface VLAN 99. Enable. We will verify the interfaces. Show IP interface brief. And uh, here we cannot see uh, VLAN 99. We can see only the default to VLAN 1 configure terminal you will go to interface vlan 99 and this vlan 99 is not created uh, we will do that later so here we will assign the ip address for this interface vlan 99 ip address uh, 172.17.99.10 submit to mask Here we need to set the default gateway. Here we can see the default gateway for the S1 and it is specified in the instruction also. Configure the default gateway on S1. So we will set that in global configuration mode. IP default gateway 172.17.99.1 now we will verify show ip interface brief and here we can see interface vlan 99 and its ip address but we can see its status and protocol down it will be up once we create this uh, this vlan next is create name and assign vlans on s1 based on the vlan and port assignments table ports should be in access mode your vlan names should match the names in the table exactly this is for the uh, scoring purpose only uh, we must follow the name as it is they given the addressing table so we will create uh, these vlans here we can see the, that vlan table we will create it configure terminal vlan 10 its name is uh, faculty slash staff vlan 20 name students vlan 30 name guest default 
VLAN 88, name native, VLAN 99. So here we can see interface VLAN 99 change the state to up. Perfect. It's a name management. And we will verify uh, VLAN, show VLAN brief. And here we can see those VLANs we created. Next, we will assign interfaces to its respective VLAN. Configure terminal. And uh, here we can see these interfaces FA0 slash 11 till 17 should be in VLAN 10. Interface will go as a range because we are going to choose multiple interfaces from FA0 slash 11 till 17. Uh, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. Next, we will go to interface as a range FA0 slash 18 till 24. A switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 20. Now, we will go to interfaces. Interface as a range FA0 slash 6 till 10. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN it's 30. And here we can see the given G0 slash 1 should be native. G0 slash 1 is connecting to this router R1. Here we can see that instructions. Configure G0 slash 1 of S1 as a static trunk and assign the native VLAN. Okay, we can go to that interface. G0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk. And now we can see this uh, VLAN 99 protocol also uh, become up. The switch port trunk native VLAN 88. Completion status is 94 percentage. So we will go to the next instruction. All ports that are not assigned to a VLAN should be disabled so we must shut down it coming to s1 here we will give the show command here itself we can give the show command do show vlan brief and here we can see these interfaces are not assigned to any vlan it is in default to vlan 1 from fs 0 slash 1 to 5 and the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 so we will go to those interfaces interface as a range fa0 slash 1 till 5 also g0 slash 2 we will shut down these interfaces and copy run space start Configure inter VLAN routing on R1 based on the addressing table. So that already we configured initially. All the sub interfaces are configured. Also, we set the IP address as per the addressing table. Verify connectivity R1, S1, and all PCs should be able to ping each other and the server. Uh, so here they given the IP address for all the PCs and server. Here they already set the IP address in all PCs. And here we can see this completion status. It's so 
100 percentage now we will test the connectivity uh, we will ping from pc1 to all other pcs and to this uh, uh, switch and uh, router ping 172.17.50.254 the ip address of our server We may get one or two requests timed out. Okay, here we get one reply. So once more, we will give that uh, ping command to server, and here we get the replies. We can ping to VLAN twenty and VLAN thirty. Ping one seventy two dot seventeen dot twenty. PC to IP address twenty dot uh, twenty two. We'll type once more ping one seven two dot seventeen dot twenty dot twenty two. Okay, we get the replies. Now we will ping to. Thirty dot twenty three. That is PC three. Okay, perfect. We get the replies. Now we can ping to S one and to R one. S one is uh, IP address one seven two dot seventeen dot ninety nine dot ten. It's working. Now we will ping to uh, each sub interfaces. Okay, we can ping to ten dot one. Okay, twenty dot one. Perfect. Thirty dot one. Eighty eight dot one. And ninety nine dot one. Perfect. So that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, inter VLAN routing challenge. Now, friends, if you get any doubt, you can contact us. Also, if you wish to get any technical support, you can contact us anytime. All the details given in the description below. Thank you.